Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from December 7th to the 13th, 2020. I hope you had a great past weekend and Monday starts off in a good note for all of you and that you have a nice week ahead. So first and foremost, I want to thank everybody here for all the love, for all the support that you have been giving me, uh, especially uh, towards me and my family, my pets, and also my mom. Uh, she tells me that she will continue to pray for you three times a day. Not only does she pray for all of you here, she also prays for the collective as well. If there's any messages that you want to relate to her, just, uh, you know, uh, put them in the comments below because I will translate them to her. Um, I want to talk about what's underneath my video. Underneath my video, there is going to be a link of 10% off of crystals. Uh, for those of you, there's going to be my weekly schedule. Plus, I will continue to do... Um, the weeklies, uh, which is the all, the all signs after the weeklies, because a lot of you did like that one that I made uh, last night. Uh, also, uh, for those of you that uh, <clears throat> have been sending donations towards me, thank you all very much for the beautiful donations. I am greatly like in awe. And if it wasn't for all of you here telling me that about the donations, I wouldn't have known about it. So again, a big thank you. And for those of you that keep asking me where the donation is, it's there's one there's a link underneath my video. There's also one on the right hand page on top of my YouTube page and in the about section for those of you that do want to know. Uh, of course, there's also where you could follow me. And I also have a group on YouTube. If you uh, There's a link if you want to be part of the group as well. Where there's going to be an inspiration post, uh, my videos are going to be there. And sometimes I'm going to come in live just to talk to all of you. And, you know, and if you guys are interested in that, uh, all you need to do is uh, follow the links. Uh, as well is um, for those of you that are wanting my friend as a healer, I have other healers there. If you, for those of you that want an advanced um, um, chart for your ascension, um, for those of you that uh, you know, I recommend the uh, meditation, uh, light language with activations. Everything is underneath the video, as well as where you want to write to me. There's a PO box number and an email address where to find me and. Uh, for those of you that keep asking me, you know, I love your lipstick. Where do you uh, buy that? Well, there's also a link for that underneath the video. So now, my beautiful Aquarians, uh, let's get started. What I have in front of me is my singing bowl. It's the newest one I got. This is the heart chakra. It's one of the biggest ones I have. It's for the heart frequency, 852 hertz frequency. And of course, I'm going to invoke um, Metatron to come in with the light grid sunlight grid of love light and protection i'm going to get also the holy spirit to be here i will invoke our uh, mother gaia to sustain the reading and the healings i will invoke archangel uriel to clear my space and energy and do the same thing for you for you i will invoke archangel raphael to be here to send healing energy emerald green or light to those that want to embrace it body mind and spirit I will invoke Archangel Michael for some type of breakthrough that you need. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective. And you could also join in in setting the intentions when I uh, ring the bowl. So let's get started. Okay, Archangel Uriel. To clear my energy and space and the same for you. Angel Raphael to send healing energy. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough. Angel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace, harmony, and protection to the highest. And so it is. Perfect. I put this aside. 
and let's get started with your reading. So, Aquarius, let's see what your affirmation is of the week from December 7th to the 13th. Aquarius, you got friend, uh, discipline. Discipline. And your affirmation is, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I can accomplish when what I set my mind to. Interesting, and it's beautiful to see that. Okay, now uh, these are Oracle cards from Gaia. For some of you, this will be a cover, uh, confirmation, especially those of you that are healers, medium, psychic, astrologers. Um, you'll come in for this type of uh, confirmation. For others of you, this is uh, Gaia is going to show me where you've been, where you are, and where you're going to work, what you're going towards. Uh, maybe you might not see it now, especially if you're in a bleak situation or a hard situation. Mother Gaia says that she will shed light on where you're going, okay? So this is for Aquarius, December 7th to the 13th. Please show me what's taking place. One card out, two cards. Okay. Three cards. Okay. So the first card is... I apprehension apprehension so this talks about moving out into the world doubt and fear so a lot of you at this time are you know um you know that there's a, a next step that you need to take and so you might not be ready for that okay uh you're thinking you're contemplating at this time um you know you're you're trying to stay in the comfort zone there's a lot of doubt and fear that you're going through sacred mother earth has an, a message for you of love this will come maybe uh, while you're in nature or outside, while you're walking, uh, universally, uh, it could be no numbers coming towards you. But there is a message of love. This could be from a loved one that passed away from you or someone that you miss. Uh, but there is some type of message that's coming towards you. And last but not least, you got the tree of life. Beautiful. And this talks about fertility, creativity, destiny, and magical blessings that are taking place. And that's going to take place around your birthday time, but it's also going to take place when Jupiter and Saturn uh, move into your sign, Aquarius, December 21st, 2020, and it's going to be very magical. So now let's get into your reading. This reading is for Aquarius sun, and anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If it re the reading resonates, claim it without a doubt. If it does not resonate at all, confusion. It might be that you're not in your sun sign this week. So look at your rising. Look at your moon. is emotions. Venus is about love and finances. Mercury is about communication. And North Node is about your purpose, mission, or soul path. Okay? I'm going to show you where you're at, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what's crowning you, uh, immediate outcome what is hidden from you and the outcome and then i'm going to clarify the cards that spirit leads me to clarify and at the end of that i will give you your crystal card i will give you some cards from the romance angels and archangel michael card so i hope you stay tuned till the end because this is all for you my dear okay here we go let's get started from December okay okay so you got the hermit card followed by the six of wands reversed you got the tower in the recent past you got the ten of wands what is crowning you is the hierophant reversed in the immediate future you got very beautiful you got the devil card reversed. What is supporting you is the hangman. What is hidden from you is the knight of wands. The star card reversed in the hopes and fears and the six of swords reversed. And then into the deck, you have the five of swords reversed. Okay, some of you are feeling left out, ghosted in the situation. Okay, there's something karmic that took place in your life. Karmic from this past, this lifetime, in the recent past life, or something that you carried on here. 
okay so this is something really big karmically that's being released from you so at this moment you're standing up for yourself with the five of swords reversed this could have been around you in energy lies deceit okay from people whatever the situation is now i could be talking to you aquarius or vice versa, or to a cross watcher. Just remember, just take whatever resonates with you. At this moment, maybe you're in this hermit stage where you're, uh, you know, taking time out from family and friends and going within, following your own path, okay? And really reflecting, reassessing everything that took place in your life. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Something that's crossing you with the Six of Wands reverse, something that is, did not come out successful for you, whether it's a business, a partnership, whatever it is, something is like uh, just uh, a lot of obstacles took place. What I'm being shown is whatever, um, what Spirit wants you to focus on is that Pluto's coming in here. Pluto's coming in here to bring unexpected change or maybe this already took place for you. In the recent past, you get the Ten of Wands energy. This is about carrying a lot on yourself, on your shoulders for a very long time. Okay, you're tired, extremely tired here and the Ten becomes a One. What's crowning you is the elephant reversed. So this could talk about a marriage for some of you. Others that that is probably rocky or there's a divorce or some type of break. Okay, that took place here. Um, it, it also talks about learning your life experiences and reaching the next paradigm shift that's at this moment not taking place. In the near future, you've got the devil reversed. It could be Capricorn energy. This is a breakthrough in pattern situations, toxic people fears, difficult moments that you overcame, and there is some type of freedom here. What's supporting you is the is the hangman. So there is some type of surrendering that's taking place. You're, you're stagnant in a situation, and you're in a cocoon before you turn into this beautiful butterfly. You're in this cocoon stage that you're going through a lot at this time. You're enlightened. You see everything, but you're not budging, okay? Uh, what you're not seeing around you is action. Or someone coming in Sagittarius Lee or Aries that's going to take action. Or this is you taking action. Um, some of you, this is the star. It is the star reverse. This is a Aquarian energy. Maybe you're dealing in an Aquarius. Or this is you where you lost faith in a dream. Or not some type of dream of yours. Something that you wished upon. There is, uh, it's, it's like you lost faith in the situation here. And in the outcome, you got the Six of Swords reverse. Which talks about some of you are stagnant in a difficult moment. You're not going through this transition in the way that you should be going uh so you're stuck in your feelings in your thoughts a lot okay so now it, this has to do with a choice that was made okay so let's clarify some of the cards here Aquarius. okay let's look at the hermit cards we got the four swords followed by the ten of coins. Followed by the hangman. Okay. Um, again, a sense of surrendering. Being stagnant is there. You know, if you're stagnant in a situation, um, you're not making a move, okay? And there is some type of healing that's taking place right now or has been taking place for you for, since the month of September of 2020 for some of you. Um, this could have been a time, time out or a break, a break that took place here, but there is healing. Uh, maybe uh, you are mirroring each other, okay? Uh, with the Ten of Coins, this was something that's very solid here. It's showing me solid, okay? Could it be business maybe that you're focusing on? could be a start of a new project that's going to bring you pro pro its promise. Or there's a situation here with the Ten of Pentacles that there's something solid here. So I am going to ask an for an extra card for the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Could. Okay. Um, there's some type of uh, information that was withheld from you that will be revealed okay and there's a lot of options here and there's something that's coming in for you with the ten of pentacles now uh this is something that's very solid this is what they're showing me okay Let, let's look at the six of wands reversed why is the six of wands reversed here the ten of wands followed by the ace of pentacles reversed followed by the empress energy Okay, so there was something that took place that, again, with the, there's two times the Ten of Wands energy with the Six of Wands reversed and the Ace of Coins, something that did not come in for you, some type of stability, something that was 
a lot of obstacles, a lot of frustration, okay? And it did not go in the way that you planned. But what I'm being shown is that what's taking place, if this Ten of Pentacles comes in, okay, unexpected money, could be a, a business or whatever it is that you're working on, but this Ten of Pentacles is strong here. And with the Empress card, this talks about whatever you touch will turn, whatever you touch turns to gold. So it's a minus touch. It's about new opportunities that are coming towards you. New opportunities. It's about being fertile in your gifts. It's about... Uh, you know, everything, it's about the death and rebirth you went through here, okay? That will bring you this energy. This is beautiful energy here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Now, let's look at the tower. Why is the tower here? You got the Three of Cups energy. Okay. The Ace of Wands reversed with the Four of Wands. Something rocked your world or rocked your boat or rocked your home. Okay, it's about some type of passion that was turned into a lot of anger or fighting, unhappiness in the home, instability in the home, not being happy in the home. Maybe there was interference. Maybe there was situations, people or places that took place here, or it could have been a third party situation that took place that kind of crumbled something, okay, with the tower. Someone from your past here. Now let's look at the Ten of Wands reversed in your recent past. You've got the Ten of Cups reversed with the Ten of Cups. So this is a relationship, a soulmate could have been unhappiness, maybe a lot of emotions, mixed emotions here, a lot of frustrations, a lot of obstacles that took place with this Ten of Cups reversed. And uh, there's a lot of fears in the situation, being in the unknown, difficult moments. This is Neptune and Pisces. This talks about like distortion, illusion, deception around you. Uh, but with this full moon that we're having now tonight, uh, which when I'm recording this is the full moon eclipse in Gemini, 8 degrees, uh, something is going to come to light towards you in visions and epiphanies, but from now to six months from now. So make sure you write and jot everything down. And whatever person, Nine of Cups, energy, reverse, I see that there's someone here that cannot give love because they need to give love to themselves first. So there, there's nobody coming in at this time. Or this is you in energy. Let's look at the elephant reversed here. And what's crowning you? You got the tower reversed. So there was some type of unexpected change that took place in an institution, in your marriage, or this is in uh, your lessons, okay? Something took place here. Why is the everything reversed with the tower reversed? Yeah. At one point, you left. You felt left out of the situation. You left. You were left out in the cold. You felt abandoned. And But I, what I see is that you're going to come overcome the situation, whether this has to do with lack of money, maybe losing a job also for some of you. I see something coming back to you here, okay? Um, what I see is something is coming in towards you in divine timing. There's something passionate that's starting within you. And with the Queen of Cups energy, this could be you also. Very nurturing, very loving energy here, Aquarius. And divine timing taking place. This is about the inspiration coming within here. And also very psychic energy. Or you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now let's look at the Devil reversed in the immediate future. You got the Ace of Swords energy. Beautiful. It's about clarity. It's about cutting through the fog. It's about clear communication. Your crown is going to be back up again where it belongs. Um, creative ideas taking place. Just a lot of communication and clear communication. The Nine of Coins. You've been working on yourself. You're very independent here. You're not dependent on anybody. Like, like I said, maybe this was from a Capricorn someone that or people that were toxic. But this was karmically that you're being removed from all of this. And the Nine of Cups energy is that you have a wish fulfillment here. Let's look at the Hangman and what's supporting you right now. The Hangman. You have the world. So there is a completion that's going to take place when uh, you go through this cocoon. To the butterfly stage when you surrender okay and uh there's there is a something coming together a decision that you will have to do or you have already made here okay there's something coming into completion full circle
This could be an also a decision you made. There could be an apology coming towards you or something that's starting. That's going to be some type of stableness. That's going to be your the start of something stable taking place for you. Now let's look at what's hidden from you with the Knight of Wands energy. Because there is action here. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. You've got the Magician. The Eight of Cups reversed, followed by the Chariot. So yes, whatever this is that's hidden from you, whether someone's coming towards you or you, someone's taking action and you're going to take control and you're going to move forward from this whole situation in a positive note. Okay, this is what it shows me. Uh, it's about ambition, willpower, and moving forward. Whatever you walked away from, or whatever walked away from you, whatever the situation, you're going to overcome all these feelings. And with the magician, you are the one that is manifesting at this time. There's a lot of manifestation taking place. Now, let's look at the star reversed here in the hopes and fears. You got the elephant. Okay. This could be your marriage. Maybe there's a second chance here. Someone's coming back. There's an apology and maybe there's forgiveness here for some of you. Or this is about learning your it's about learning your your life lessons and hitting a different paradigm shift. Okay. Um page of swords reversed here. There's still a slight to a little bit, maybe uh some type of very little communication taking place here. Or there's some type of communication that will start taking place around your birthday. And uh, I also see here is that something is trying to come into balance in your life, okay? Um, it's about uh, not wanting to look into the past anymore, wanting to move forward. Now, let's look at the Six of Swords reversed in the outcome. You got, again, the Devil reversed, okay? This is karmically, you're releasing everything. This is Saturn in Capricorn, okay? This is the fears, the difficult moments, toxic people, can be patterns, behavior, addictions, whatever it is, there's a breakthrough here and an ending. Some type of freedom is taking place from your past, okay? And uh, you're not feeling stuck. You're not worried anymore, okay? That's something that will be taken from you. Okay, you see, you've got the Eight of Swords reversed with... The nine of swords reversed in uh, in the past, okay? Uh, in the outcome, sorry. Where uh, maybe you're having difficulty now, but it's showing me that there's some type of freedom here. And uh, you need to follow your intuition, okay? High priestess reversed. Something will be revealed to you, but there's some. you need to trust your intuition. And some of you are still in need of healing here uh, about having self-confidence in yourself and believing in yourself, okay? Uh, now let's look at the five of swords reversed. In the overall energy, you got the seven of wands, so you're going to overcome the situation, whatever the obstacles were, the lies, the deceits, whatever this was. Okay, you're going to overcome it, and it's showing me that there's going to be a lot of messages coming back and forth with the eight of wands energy, a lot of fiery energy. And uh, again, it's about a place where there was a lot of drama, there was a lot of fighting. That took place, okay, and what have to, happens with the lover's energy, Gemini, there is a choice that has to be done here. You will have to make a choice, okay? Whatever it is that you're working on, keep working on it, okay? Um, because it's going to be very successful where this is, whatever this is, okay, for you. Recognition, reward, business, love, okay? Because you're having a second chance. You're destined. Wheel of Fortune here coming in for you. You're destined, Okay, luck, destiny taking place. And the Queen of Wands, you're going to rise above the situation in energy. King, uh, the King and, um, no, not the King, sorry. I thought it was the King. But what I do see here is the Queen of Wands energy. This is about rising above. This is about being creative, magical, working on oneself. This is, could be, a, maybe you're dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be. But this is about a strong feminine energy, a very strong, very outgoing, very generous energy and truthful. And underneath the deck, I have the Queen of Swords reversed. So uh, maybe there's uh, someone that's not talking or someone that cut off someone. Okay, there's anger here. Uh, someone still needs to work on themselves. Okay, they're not emotionally available at this time. But there is, uh, and there's not really a new beginning taking place. Okay. But there is going to be an unexpected message coming in. The person that's going to come in will be truthful. Very, very truthful. Uh, they'll want to be around you. They'll want to have fun. But sometimes they might they might uh, 
feel like th they're cold energy, okay? It's because they want to take control of the situation, but there is love here, okay? It's just that there's a lot of healing that needs to be done here, and especially with the inner child, and something is come, is trying to come into balance for you, some type of truth, and whatever it is, if it's you or them, there's right now, there's no action taking place, but there's some type of acceptance, and there is a delay uh, for relocation or moving or for some type of transition that has to take place here, okay? So now let's look at your uh, crystal card, Aquarius. Okay, you got two cards. First one you got is Garnet and is uh, Ignite Your Passion with Garnet. And the next card you got is Lumerian Quartz as Practice Patience. These will be the crystals that you could be using for as long as you need them. Now, let's take a few cards from the Romance Angels and see what is happening here for you. This is for Aquarius. Okay, so the first one you got is trust. The situation is calling you to have faith and trust. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others if you're going through a hard time right now. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Release your past. Release the energy. Or an X for some of you. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And one more card is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Now let's look at what Archangel Michael wants to tell you, Aquarians, from December 7th to the 13th. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And your message is, or your prayer, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing my any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Aquarians. Aquarius, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. All this will pass, okay? And uh, I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week, okay? Take care. Bye.